We are back here on Girl Talk. Linda Anders has joined us, and you just asked, what do you do, Linda? And she is a coach, and we thought it might be fun today to talk about some women's issues. As Lori just went to the doctor, the other, she had her mammogram, she had her little kind of... Oh, for crying <laughs> out loud. Well, yes, so I had from top to bottom, out. in and out, squeeze and not. It was perfect. Well, we thought it might be fun since yeah. we have sort of a variety of age Ages, ranges yeah. here to talk about some issues that, that women in particular mm -hmm. may have at different... Um, Stages Different of their lives. Stages of their life. Lori, do you have any issues at yeah, this go ahead. stage of your life? No, just explain a little bit more yeah. what you do well, and how you about, can help someone right. like me. Well, I have to say it's one of the most things that I'm most passionate about is women's issues. That's mm -hmm. what made me want to be a coach. Mm -hmm. What is a coach? Well, a coach... It, there's all different types of coaching and the coaching that I study takes the whole person okay um, so it goes to the root of, of what's bothering them it, it unearths it it dissects it and it gives them a plan a solution is it like a life coach it's, well, is they that call what they call it that? life coaching it's a generic name uh, what I really do is called ontological coaching so it takes the whole person it takes and the mind the body and the spirit well you Ooh. know what's interesting I just finished my doctorate and in it we talked about um, Epistemological, ontological, axiological. Mm -hmm. Those are big words. Well, but that's why I asked you when, when we first met, we talked about is that that's a philosophy. It is a philosophy because the ontological piece what is the body piece. That's what comes into play because we're energy beings. Okay, right. You know, so energetically, when you think about how you dance through life mm -hmm. and you find yourself in relationship situations, whatever the case might be, it's going to affect you physically. Definitely. If you're not, if you're not <laughs> able to move past it and not through it, it makes you look a little old. Yeah. So therefore, you manifest illnesses. Yeah, that's true. You know, and it could be illnesses from anxiety Biggest disorders fear. to mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. actual cancers. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it, it's a that's actually one of my fact. biggest fears is that, that mm -hmm. the stress in your life, uncontrolled, will end up making you sick. Well, I think evidence says that stress does, stress mm -hmm. and burnout definitely have the tendency of, I mean, I remember years ago when they started talking about stress, I'm like, oh, stress, stress. I mean, years and mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And then stress is still, to, to this day, something that really controls our, our life. What did Dad mm -hmm. say? What did we grow up with? Don't sweat, sweat the, the small well, stuff. Well, that's the, I'm glad that. you brought that up because we're brought up with mantras of sorts. Mm -hmm. You know, it's belief systems that are ingrained in us, you know, such things as smile and the world smiles mm -hmm. with you, cry and you cry alone, don't sweat the small stuff, don't put your dirty laundry on the clothesline, you know, don't put hang your big out girl panties on. <laughs> put you your big girl panties on. You know, go along to get along. Isn't yeah. that a big message that women get? But I think with Hand packed, rule the roost, I got all this. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and don't one. think for a moment that they don't Duster. stay in us. Mm -hmm. And it's like those little voices on the shoulders, mm -hmm. but what I'm finding in the practice that I have with my business partner, who's a counselor, mm -hmm. uh, Bloom Within, what we do, and we called it Bloom Within because we want women to bloom. We want teenage girls to bloom. And what's exciting about the women's movement that I see is that we've come far, but we have a lot further to go. Because I feel like, from what I'm witnessing with clients that are coming in, is that women want to use their voice. First, they want to find their voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to understand who they are. Mm -hmm. They want to understand what's missing, what's nagging them. Why am I not happy? Mm -hmm. So once they discover who they are, mm -hmm. once they find their voice, then they want the tools to know how to use that voice. I, I mm -hmm. think it's a really and, and good you know, point. it's interesting. We're talking about women, and, and that's really what mm -hmm. we decided we would chat about mm -hmm. today. But I also have been reading recently that men it's it's uh, um, boys adrift. Do well, boys? It's upsetting, man. It's upsetting the world. <laughs> but do boys really? <laughs> yeah. Do boys or men really know their place now? Debbie. Is it all sort of a conundrum? I mean, is it a big? Is it a big? The biggest shift that I'm seeing in our practice is that marriage is being redefined. Yes. I love that. Role yes. expectations yes. are being redefined mm -hmm. and women are not going to quiet down anymore. I've got to tell you that I had this conversation this morning, I promise mm -hmm. you. It was with another uh, a woman that I know, a friend, and she there was like, like, I mean, this is the craziest He's thing. <laughs> It was, like I have to hurry because you oh, cut sorry. me off. No, no, no. Um, but anyway, she had, no, she had an opportunity to go to something like yes. a life 
coaching retreat. Uh -huh. And she thought, well, maybe I should do this. And her husband said, oh, you're not one of those women, really. Uh -huh. And I said, well, why would you want to go? And she said, well, I don't really know what kind of woman am I then, you know? And it happens and to so many women. And menopause is the big upset. I hate that word, Isn't menopause. that when it all wakes up, you yeah. know? Sort of. I, I think I'm the only one. I, it was my favorite time of my life. Debbie, you are the only. I well, think that's that the, pixie dust. But you know, <laughs> see, it works. <laughs> but, but Debbie, that's because, that's because you're enjoying your, who you are. Yeah, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, how do you do that? You give yourself permission. Yeah. Yeah. You have to okay. give yourself permission, and that's part of what's going yeah, on Yeah, I think here. that's true. Do you, does this, does this sound like German yeah. to you or French or well, wait, a different how old language? Are you? You're 20? 20, 29. Okay, mm. so what is an issue? For, what, what, are, what is something that your peer group thinks about right now? Age. But don't you do feel like really? you're invincible? Don't yes. you feel like you've no. got the world by the... No, come on. I feel on. like I'm in a good spot, but I definitely think aging is a big issue right now for... Physical aging. Mm -hmm. But emotionally, don't you feel strong? I'm and the 30 and okay. that kind of thing. I think that's sort of what's facing us. But I think... But do you think about the biological clock ticking when it comes to marriage? Do, does that end I don't, mind? but I think it's a different... Gener I think I it's a too. generational yes, thing. But you're, yes. you're in love, too, right? A lot of things... Yes, but I think... In different generations, you when you get married at a very young age, which I, you know some people still do, but mm -hmm. I'm still single. You know, I've not gotten married to. I think it changes the definition. I've been able to learn more who I am and oh, kind yes. of I explore myself as a person through my 20s, mm -hmm. so that I'm not. And I think Smarter. you probably do have to redefine it every mm -hmm. so often. Or, but I think that I've gotten Our, more of a, a ground is very well for it. Taken. Well, then, I think your there's point a is stat on it. There's a stat on oh, it. Oh, there are many statistics on yes. all of this. I think as we look at at 20 and 30 year old women, they are um, embracing who they are. They don't need a man. Well, that's if, how we, we were kind of raised. You you get married. And MRS period. Yeah, I mean, it's I just a different work. exactly. So you're looking at issues at a different time in your life mm -hmm. than we're looking at. Mm -hmm. You're these walking. Issues you sometimes. want to walk into marriage knowing who you are, what mm -hmm. you want, and what you need, and right. not having to compromise it mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of. And whatever. not trying to figure it out after yeah, you're married and, and then you've got right. You're kids. Right. Forty percent of the youth today, according to the Census Bureau, is not marrying with your age group. They're not looking at marriage because they want to have children. They're looking at marriage because they want a strong partnership that yeah. honors both people. That's, 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 that's exactly, that exactly. exactly. I told my kids, you don't need... They're girls. I said, you don't need a man for financial reasons. and You need someone to emotionally come, you know... Now, men, on them. the other hand, Codependent. must... Nope must have their technology. They oh. don't need their woman I'm as much as they right. need their TV, <laughs> that remote. their remote. Is this a fact? Yes, is this, this is a fact. fact. I mean. So being girl talk is great, but we try to have something for everyone. Yeah. So we're going to send our two <laughs> ace in the holes for guys. We're going to send Debbie Court, who is beautiful, Yes. to Sandy Benson, who is beautiful, yes. to Custom Audio Video, which is a great place. Which is a great place. We're going to talk about guys, mm -hmm. things for guys. Okay. So stay with That's us. We'll be right back here on Girl Talk. Girl Talk is brought to you by J Banks Design, The Greenery, Stoneworks, and Custom Audio Video. Please support these businesses who make our program possible.